Hello everybody, welcome back to Isaac and Friends with Trey Blosky, here for another solo playthrough. Today we're going to be looking at Alphabet Lane. I heard about this a while back. It is a horror game heavily inspired by Sesame Street and the works of the Jim Henson Company. Now, I do recall on the channel there was another game that I think Isaac played that was very similar to this. I know, because I bought it for him. And, uh, I figured we'd start with this before we go back to the insanity that is the Slaughter Me Street franchise. Let's go. Okay, don't know why things kind of look like a PS1 game. Wait, this might be the pixel version. Oh, here we go. Press F to listen to voicemail. Okay. My name is Rachel. Well, at least I know Batman will be there to protect me. Epic Games? I found this on Game Jolt. Anyway, going down to our... Going down to our kitchen. What the hell is this? Lost? There's something under here. Hang on, the controller is a little wonky. Oranges. I want oranges. Hmm. There's a book, a glass. Someone has been smoking. Okay. The hell? I'm taking my headphones out, people. Just saw a big ass cookie monster walk out the door. I don't know how to open the door. Okay. No pause button. Okay, good, good. All is good. We are fine. I kind of miss Roanoke now. We've had Wasad this whole time. Okay. Z, X. Cool, we can jump. But how do we open doors there there's a shift there's a sh there's a sprint button good hello ow okay we're not gonna do that no sprint meter either hello press f to pick up That cookie monster's not still out there, is he? 
I didn't do that. I do apologize if you hear the air conditioner. It's a little hot in here. We're also doing things a little different. You have 100 I do. There's someone in the trees. Where are we going? We just heard a guy scream for help. Maybe we shouldn't be going here. Maybe, uh... Not be a dumbass and, uh... Let's turn around and go home. Yeah. Go home. I don't trust that cookie monster. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I closed my eyes, I blinked, and all of a sudden the, the demon cookie monster staring at me. What the hell is that? Trash. Kind of, uh, puppet. My anxiety is hitting the roof right now. Holy hell. This must be this must be pictures where they would film their like little Sesame Street segments. Oh my god. That's me. And creepy wooden doll. TVs. Must have been what they used to film exterior scenes. And who's behind me? Someone is fucking behind me. I knew I should have did Friday Night Funkin' instead. It's, I suck at it, but at least I wouldn't be scared. Then people getting angry is not. Is there someone down there? Dressing rooms. Oh, God. Kind of abandoned by Disney shit is going on here. Press F to pick up key. No. No, I don't think I will. Oh, God damn it, I have to, don't I? Okay. Fuck! Great. All, all you need, Rick, is all you need. Where the hell are you? This doesn't even make sense. The Cookie Monster was never a full suit or whatever this... Okay. His eyes are uh, <laughs> just a separate image JPEG. Well, PNG. And, uh, <laughs> yay. Girl Goes Missing by Kent Mansley. Yesterday, April 20th, Stephanie Byers went missing at the 49th Street Park. The only known business supposed to come out were six year old Stephanie and Stephanie's friends, Rachel Mulligan, Mark Hamilton, Spacey Wilhelm, and Kara Elham. Stephanie's parents, Roger and Carter Byers, both say that they will not stop until they find answers. Oh boy, Lord Dumps. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Fuck. 
I am not the janitor from Willy's Wonderland. I can't just drink some grape soda. I get, no, that was grape soda. It was fruit punch soda. I can't just drink some fruit punch soda and go kick some ass. Someone's coming right up on me! Oh! 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 That's actually not too bad. Dressing room, Mr. Munchie. Clever. That actually wasn't too bad. Okay. All right, you big blue baby. Let's play. Double checking just in case we have to do these lore dumps. Feet to you. What about feet? Aha! You're right, but there you are, you bastard. Here. This way. Shit! That's the fucking toilet. All right, eat me. Scream at me and eat me. Okay. Chef Ho. Aha! He's got big red lights on his head. Oh, fuck. Let's see what he does. <laughs> this, you know, for jump scares, these aren't very jumpy. Not that loud, either. I like the visuals, those are kind of cool. Now, do you hunt by sound, or...? Okay. And if he sees ya, it's gonna hurt. Well, it's, this is Chef Poe. He likes to cook. His eyes glow red. Uh, he wrote a book. And if he, and if he stabs ya, it's gonna hurt, yo! Uh oh. Okay. Can't see him. Hello. You should be easier to see. Aha! <laughs> oh shit. It's right behind me. 
<laughs> Thanks for illuminating my way, dumbass. Oh. Shit. Shit. Oh. Ah. I didn't really know what to do there. Hello. Why don't I just see if that pump turns off the water? Also doesn't help my flashlight's not working. Okay. Timing is everything. Wish there had been more story stuff, though. Well, I mean, more stuff I could read. I'd like to do more of those goofy voices. Okay. Fucking TV. All right. This is interesting. This is kind of like a uh, candy pit. Kind of like uh, the little uh, tape stuff in uh, RE7. into the fog. Hmm. Who is behind me? Someone's behind me. I'm not crazy. Today. Someone there. God, he has such an obvious weakness. I always think of that line from Team Fortress 2. I'll think, I'll think, I'll think that lad saw me. Yes, yes, he did. Okay. This is a bloody door. Is there anything else? guess. Let me guess. This door is transparent. There's a key hidden some... There's a key hidden somewhere in this dark room with Fat Bastard, isn't there? Fat Bastard! No! I don't want to get in your belly! I'm not into that! Ooh, sorry. 
I had to stop myself. I was thinking of Dorby's for a second. Who's da? Get how that kills us, though. He just stabbed us in the hand. He could do worse. Uh huh. That's the secret. Uh huh. I may have to look into this game some more so I can actually navigate it. Okay, this door is useless. Oh shit. If he coughs, that means he's nearby. And of course, the giant red. I'm going to murder you and eat your skin. And of course, the giant red, I'm going to murder you and eat your skin lights. Okay. I think he's also meant to be the Pillsbury Dellboy. He's kind of got that same build. Uh, I got a feeling he won't laugh when we poke his stomach. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Now there's probably something in that door upstairs, or I didn't listen to that guy. Should have listened to that guy. Okay. He's over there. Hmm. Okay. There is something to this strategy we're not seeing. I may have to look up a walkthrough. If this game is popular enough to have one. Maybe it is. It might have fans. You never know. After all, that's one of the things that makes uh, the internet such an interesting place. You can have you can have you know, you can have channels that are huge in some parts of the world and other people have never heard of them. That's damn well. Why is there still light up here? Yay! Holy hell! What the fubberknuck is that? Great, now Markiplier's gonna sue me. Jesus Christ! Holy hell! See that thing? It moved like it was made of liquid. Ha. That's a secret. I don't even get what that one's supposed to be. I mean, yeah, Big Bird, but why the hell is it moving like a raptor? Is 
This one is very poorly described. Oh. Okay. Okay, a doll. Hi, doll. Why are there so many vents in this room? Open vents. This big bird thing can pop out of hope. die here we don't have to come back because Jesus Christ fuck you birdie birdie what kind of name is that Will we listen for skittering or I have no idea what to do about this thing Is it always following us? Fuck it. All right. We're only gonna try this a few more times. It doesn't explain what to do. I get you're not supposed to walk past the vents. Okay, we're clearly meant to go that way. Maybe there's another way around. Corey Kenshin, I am not. All right, let's go there. Come on, fucking bird. I can barely understand what this guy's saying. I hope it's not mixed. I hope it's not mixed quieter. Otherwise, uh, you guys are not going to know either. He died? And his daughter did something? Hmm. Alright, the next time the bird gets us, we are going to be wrapping up. Okay. Come on. Wait! Maybe that's it! Maybe I'm supposed to jump over the vents! Stupider things have happened. Yeah! Nope. Alright, I think we're gonna have to regroup for this game. So... I think for now, we're going to stop this here. I'm gonna look into this some more so we can actually see how to get past that bird. And I hope you enjoy. Be, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, Trey Blowski. Be sure to stay subscribed to my boys, Isaac and the Lich, or Isaac and Friends. And uh, let's see if there's something else I can handle. Maybe something with less uh, screaming birds.